today I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested by a ton of people and a video that I think that is a very, very, very important one to have on someone's channel just because um, I feel like a lot of the times I do tutorials and I don't use a lot of drugstore products and I find that's a really, really bad representation of the makeup that I use every day because I don't use MAC every single day. I don't use... Lawn comb every single day. All these products that I'm about to show you guys are really the products I enjoy using, and they're all drugstore. So, this is going to be a drugstore favorites video. I have one already on this channel. I have one already on this channel. If you want to check that out, just look it up in my little upload thing and just search drugstore favorites, and it'll come up, I swear. So, um,. First of all, let me start with the products that I don't have with me that I actually finished. L'Oreal Decrease is a primer that's by L'Oreal. And it's really, really, it's fantastic. It's a great primer. It really makes your eyeshadow last all day. And it's very comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And it's a whole heck of a lot cheaper. So I totally suggest that if you're looking for a good primer. But staying on the topic of eyeshadow primers... Um, I really, really love this, and this is Maybelline's Cooling Effects Cooling Shadow Liner. And the one that I have here is on the rocks, and it's, I need to sharpen it, but it's like a chocolate brown. I'd apply this all over the lid as kind of like a base, and then you would put your eyeshadow on top. And it's going to help the color pop and last, just like any old eyeshadow primer. I suggest you do use a primer underneath this, like L'Oreal Decrease, just because this kind of... I am i haven't tested it, but you always want to make sure you have a primer on, and you never know which products will stick and last, and which products won't hold up. So, I'm happy to say that I... Well, first of all, I love these foundations. I'm happy to say I've got a lot of people hooked on these foundations, which I think is great. Um, so these two are very, very different. The first one is Maybelline Age... Instant Age Rewind, and you can see I've used a lot of that. The little, like, thing is, like, all the way at the bottom. But anyway, this has a ball on the top, a foam ball, um, or a spongy ball. So I twisted this two seconds ago so that I wouldn't have to twist it on camera. But it just gives you a really, really, really great even coverage of foundation, and it goes on so easy and I know it's not very sanitary to have that sponge there but in the mornings it is so easy to literally just paint it on your face and then rub it in with your hands you just have to be careful that you don't paint on, paint on too much but it's really easy and it's super awesome I love this um the next one that I like for like lighter days and just like every day if you're like say you're 13 or something um or like 12 or 13, um, at the age where you are starting to experiment with makeup, you want to try something and you're not comfortable with wearing a lot of foundation, you don't like concealer or whatever. This is just a great all-around product to have, and this is Maybelline. Again, I love Maybelline's foundations. Pure makeup. Now, the interesting thing about this is it's actually like 50, yeah, 50% 50 water. And having a 50% water means that it won't clog pores. It's going to be really, really light on your skin, and it's not going to feel like you have a lot on. And it's just going to give you some light, dewy coverage. So this is really nice. Yeah, those are my two go-to foundations. And pretty much these are the only foundations I will use besides tinted moisturizers. I really love these. Drugstores have great foundation. I don't try. I don't use the MAC or anything like that, but yeah. So, the next product, staying on the topic of face, is some blush. I love Milani's blush, and this is their um, Milani Minerals blush with a brush. And this is in Mai Tai. It's really cool because you have the blush there, but then you open it up like that, and you have a mirror. You can see me. Um, and you also have a brush. And the brush... It's not the best, I'm not going to like lie and say it's amazing, but it is a brush nonetheless. It's not a sponge, which is great. Um, it works, it really just gives you like a really, really pretty pinky glow. Whoopsies. You can see um, that. Okay, so let's move on to eyes. I love eyeshadow trios and quads. I think drugstores, they have the trios and quads thing like down pat. So, CoverGirl, I love their eyeshadows. I'm not a huge fan of... Um, they're like 
some they're single shadows i think i have one that i really really like but i actually finished which is like vanilla but i really love their trios i think they're super fun and they're very sheer so they're great for beginners totally suggest these if you're just getting into it so these are the two trios that i have of course the brightest ones but they also have some really good neutral ones that i know some people swear by i'm just not a big fan of neutrals when it comes to like you know cover girl stuff so these are the ones that i have the only thing I don't like is how the name tag is kind of like it's covering this. So you have to peel off the name tag in order to be able to open it. But this one is called, and this one, they're five bucks. So that's a really good deal. Um, this one is called Firecracker. And it has a really, really pretty green, pink, and white. Again, pretty sheer colors. Not too pigmented. But, you know, colors nonetheless. I think they're really cute and summery, too. But this one's my favorite because of the yellow. Um, this one is called Blazing Blues. And I've actually used the yellow so much, I've actually hit pan on it. But it looks like this. The yellow is awesome and pretty and light. Why did it just turn green? Oh, you know why? Because I used this when I was doing my Brazil makeup, and there's still some green. Anyway, and really nice blues. Um, If you guys want any tutorials using these products, just let me know. But yeah, these are really, really cool. Um, Awesome for bright looks, awesome for just everyday summer fun. So these are really cool. So I love the cover girl. If you're looking for a good neutral quad, I totally suggest the Bond Bell stuff. This is called um, Cafe Classics. It's really, really pretty. You have nice taupes, peaches, whites, and browns. And it's perfect for every day. Perfect. I love this. I have repeatedly bought this, um, this specific quad. It is just perfect. If you're getting started with makeup, this is the brand that you need to check out because their stuff is just so good. Bon Bell and CoverGirl. Gotta love them. Um, let's move on to eyeliners. Oh, wait, you know what? This is technically an eyeshadow. Um, this is something new that CoverGirl came out with, and I love the idea of this product, and I love the product. Um, this is great for beginners. This is their CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast, and this, I'm sure you guys have seen YouTube ads about this. You know, it's like, step one, apply base color. Step two, define and shine lips or something. But it's like that repeated commercial where you're like, can we get on with the video? But anyway... Um, this is really cool. The one that I have, I don't know what it's in. Oh, hmm. I'm not sure what mine is in, but it's a gray. Pretty much what you do is you apply this all over the lid. It has like a nice rounded tip. Super easy to just go on the lid. It's a really nice shimmery silver. Then the other end is like an eggplant. That's really pretty. And this one has kind of like a pointed tip, so it's good for lining your eyes and getting in your crease, and that one's right there. They look super pretty together, and with the primer underneath, these are so cute and pretty together. They're really good for bases if you want to put eyeshadow on top, but they're also good if you're running out the door and you need an eyeliner. I love this. So this is great, and I, I'm really happy CoverGirl is coming out with these products where it's like, I mean, drugstore products, <clears throat> brands have always had, like, things where it's like step one, step two, this goes here, this goes there for beginners. But I really am a huge fan of these. I love these, especially two-in-ones. Oh my god, I can't get enough of them. So CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast. I'm gonna have to get a drink of water. My favorite mascara at the moment is CoverGirl's Lash Blast Fusion. But I also really love Maybelline's Post Perfection Mascara. I actually had to toss that one because it was getting over the expiration date, so I threw that one away. I'm just gonna name some that I really love. I love the Neutrogena Healthy Volume. I have that, but it's like in my room, and I don't wanna go there right now, because I don't wanna have to edit this part. But I really love drugstore mascaras. In fact, they're the only mascaras that I really find myself using all the time. Um, eyeliners. Okay, so I have a cream, I have a pencil, I have a retractable, um, and if I could choose a liquid liner, I would choose the, um, 
Wet n' Wild Mega Liner. Okay, so these eyeliners I swear by. One of these is actually new. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio in like charcoal. This is great. I swatched this already, but it's like a sparkly black. And it's so cool because it comes out kind of silvery too. It looks really pretty on the eye. You don't need a lot. And it's a great dupe for any MAC fluid line. Um, although obviously it's not going to be the same. You're saving a lot of money and you're getting a great product. Um, okay, these two... Oh, I've grown up with these eyeliners. I just love them so much. They've really helped me improve in my eyeliner application, which is what we all want, don't we? There's always room for improvement. Um, so this first one is by CoverGirl, and this is the Perfect Point Plus, and it is in black onyx. And this is kind of cool, but the only thing is I'm not going to twist it up now because if you twist it up, you can't twist it back. Um, but it looks and like the eyeliner is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it goes, it glides on, like, creamy and awesome. Um, another thing I love is there's a smudger on the back. So, if you have your eyeliner on, but you want a smoky, a smoky look super, super fast, you can just smudge it. Um, I also am a huge fan of the NYC liner. If anybody asks me what one of my favorite eye eyeliners are, it's always been these few. These, um two right now. So, the NYC Automatic Eye Pencil, my favorite's Bold Brown, because it's always nice to have a brown eyeliner. This one you can twist up and down, but it looks just like this. And you apply it. Super creamy. In fact, I never... The funny thing about this, Matt, I feel like this eyeliner is, like, magical because I have never not had a straight line when using this before. Maybe I just jinxed it, but it's true. This eyeliner is amazing when you're out the door. So, CoverGirl, Maybelline, and Maybelline again. So, um, let's move on to lip stuff because, yeah, lip stuff. Um, okay, so, favorite lip balms that are just cute, smell great, and are really, really pretty to wear are lip smackers. This one's Melon Kiss. This one actually has like a color to it. It smells like the generic watermelon for lip smackers. It smells really, really nice. Um, it looks like this. It's a very like, very sheer color. You really only get some sparkle and a very light pink, but that is beside the point. It's a great cheap lip balm. Cute in your pocket, cute when you take it out. Everyone would want to know what one it is because like, look at that. It is just making a statement. Um, lipsticks. Okay. I'm about to tell you guys a lipstick that I literally, there is nothing bad about this at all. It smells great. It goes on great. It lasts a pretty good amount of time, but that's not really what I worry about with this. This is so amazing. Like, I love, I sincerely love this lipstick. Am I insane? You know what? I think I am, but that's okay with me. This is the CoverGirl. What is this? Is this CoverGirl? I think this is CoverGirl. No, this is the L'Oreal Color Juice Stick in 215 Watermelon Ice. I love Fruit Punch a lot. I think that one's great. I'm actually wearing this now. It glides on. It smells like Sour Starburst, guys. Not even kidding. Look at that pretty color. Oh, my God. I love this so much. I, like, don't want to use it because I love it so much. Is that weird? I think it's weird. Um, Lip gloss. Bon Bell. Love Bon Bell's lip lights. These are awesome. This one is in Mev Melon Mevin. Melon Smoothie. And it's just like a sparkly pink. You can see that. It's really awesome. There's a lot of product in here. Great lip gloss. There are tons of lip glosses out there from the drugstore, but that's just one of my favorites. I love the Prestige lipsticks so much. This one I have is in Rosewood. Um, this is a really, really good color. For me, anyway. I'm a huge fan of darks. It's kind of similar to Watermelon Ice, except this one's a little it's bit darker. 730. 730, guys. So it looks like this. Super pretty. I love it. There you go. Ah, oh, I love this. It's smooth. It's non-scented at all, and it's super creamy, and I love the package. It's very nice and, you know, classic and not overdone. Okay, so the last two things I want to show you guys are random things that you can find at the drugstore that you may be like, oh, you know, I don't think that I'm going to use that, but you will use it. And it's just stuff that I really rely on. 
Sponge applicators. You hate them when they arrive in your quads or trios, but in the end, guys, these are one of the best tools that you will have when it comes to quickly creating a smoky eye, applying shadow just on your lid, and you can find a brush, but you have the applicator with the trio. I totally suggest. I know it gets annoying having the brush in here. I get that. I mean, I feel the same way. But what I do is I just take these little applicator guys out this one's by like Clinique or something, and then just save them in a place where it's like out in the open where all my makeup is. It helps you so much in the long run. So these guys, looks can be deceiving. They look kind of bad on the outside, but when you use them, guys, awesome. Awesomeness. Okay, the next thing that I think is really, really important that you can find at any drugstore, wedges. I got this at um, CVS. Oh, wait, no. I got these at Sally's Beauty Supply, but CVS makes them, too. I have a bunch of them. From the these ones, I think, um, these ones I think you can only find at Sally's because there's, like, vitamin E in them. But any, like, kind of looks like a block of cheese. Any, like, little cheese sponges, I like to call them, or a little, like, um, right angle, right triangle sponges are awesome. You can use them for concealer, you can use them for your foundation and patting it on, you can use it for like getting it around your lips so you like make any mistakes with like anything and you can just like like remove things. Great for smudging on the eye, you can smudge with this. This is just a great, great drugstore product. Again, looks can be deceiving. When you see this bag, you might not think it's like anything good, but it is good. You need to give it a chance. Um, so... So that's about it. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I think I talked about everything I could possibly talk about. I know I was kind of talking fast in this video, but um, I wanted to make sure I got everything I wanted to say out. I am watching Food Network right now, and I actually put it on pause, but I'm watching Throwdown with Bobby Flay. I love that guy. Bobby Flay is... He's my cooking idol. Anyway, I gotta finish watching this episode. I'm really, really excited to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao!